Hello everyone, this is Nagarajan. In today's technical session, let's learn how to use JSON Web Locators in Selenium WebDriver. In the traditional approach, we normally use page object pattern to place all the web elements and access them inside the test. There is one other way. I'll show you now. We are going to place all the web locators inside a JSON file and we are going to use them. If you are using a JSON file, the test execution will be much faster when compared to traditional approach. Let's get into the coding part. I've created a class JSON web locator test. I've defined these private variables driver and URL. Here is our before test annotation, which has the method invoke URL. Inside the method, we are setting up the Chrome driver property, creating the instance of the driver, maximizing the window, tilting the cookies, and setting up the implicit weight with the time interval of 10 seconds. And finally, we are opening up the automationpractice.com index page. Reiterating all these basics, if in case a new person is watching the video who does not have Selenium knowledge. That's the reason. Now the actual session topics begins inside the a test. Enable equal to true ensures this particular test will get triggered. Verify product image link count helps to perform the product image link count verification. Here is the JSON file path variable that takes the JSON file path. I mean the index page of JSON file that is placed inside this SRC test Java page object. Let me open up the file. Assume this file now act as a page object. We have web locators here. Under this, we have index page. Now listen carefully. There are two web locators. Sale image and product image are being placed here. If you could keenly watch here, under the sale image, we have XPath as well as CSS. Likewise for product image as well. So that's how we define web locators inside a JSON file. I hope this is very clear. Let's move into the class file. Look at here, driver.findElement by.xpath, we usually write xpath or CSS. Now using the get web locator method, trying to fetch the locator from the JSON file. Let me get into this method, get web locator. Inside this class, common utility, I've created a method get web locator. This takes two parameters, web locator and JSON file path. The file path is being passed here. The file class instance is being created here. Using the file class object and JSON path.read method, we are fetching the web locators. That's it. So this is the syntax you need to remember. JSON path.read, JSON file comma. Inside the double quotes, we use dollar dot so dollar dot this one fetches the corresponding web locators from the json file i mean here before we move on to the test session let me open up the site and show you what we are doing as part of test automation it's opening up automation practice.com index page we have landed on the page so we are trying to click the sales 70% off image. Okay, let me click on it. Now all the products are being shown up here. Let me do one thing. I'll get the product image locator. I mean the XPath. I'm going here, index page or JSON. Let me pick this up. Inspect element. Control F and Control V. There are 14 product images available here. We would be performing the assertion for this image count. It should be 14. Let's move on to the assertion. Here is the assertion that performs the product image link count verification. As I said, there are 14 product images. I've outcoded the value here. So this can be placed inside a Excel file or config file wherever you want. And inside the after test, we are just coding the driver. Let's trigger the test execution and see how it works. It will click the sales 70% of all product image. It, I think it has clicked it. It does the assertion. The text execution is getting passed here. And now we have come to the end of the session. I hope you had enjoyed watching the session. 
I'll see you guys in the next exciting content. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.